Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories! <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. I choose to say no. Written by Elizabeth Estrada. I like to receive hugs, especially when I'm feeling blue. Showing compassion is nice and something we can do. But there are times a hug or touch is not something I want or need. And it's not cool to force me to hug back unless I've agreed. My body is mine, and I have a choice who I let near. If I don't feel comfortable, then I just say no to be clear. If someone wants to hug me and I don't want to, I just say, it's fist bump, or no thank you. There are plenty of moments in my life that I look around and I feel safe. Like when I'm around my circle of trust, that's when I have the most faith. My circle of trust is made up of several adults who I know I can turn to. If a person has touched me inappropriately, I tell them because they'll know what to do. Like when I'm reading books at bedtime and my parents are tucking me in tight, I feel confident and happy as they go ahead and turn out the light. There are other times I don't feel safe, when my circle of trust are not near, when someone is touching me and I suddenly feel fear. I am aware of any early warning signs and how to look for danger. I am especially cautious if I am ever touched by someone I know or a stranger. My early warning signs are when my heart beats fast or my breathing slows down. Sometimes, my early warning signs means my head gets dizzy and spins around and around. I can feel my early warning signs at any time, anywhere, especially when members of my trusted circle are not there. I call my private parts by their real names like vagina and penis. When I know the names of my body parts, it helps me explain any abuse. If someone talks about my private parts, I know what I should do. I tell someone in my circle of trust or an adult at school. I choose to say no because my body is mine to control. Feeling safe, calm, and protected is always my ultimate goal. Saying no is up to me, and it's nice to have a choice, to have a say over my own body, and to clearly use my voice. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!